how do you think the Niners are going to place D'Amico Ryans? Kyle Shanahan spoke about it today, and he said he would really like to keep the entire defensive staff together. He doesn't want to change the scheme. And if he brings in someone from the outside, he essentially wants this person to run what D'Amico and Salah had been running. Um, that's interesting. So it's like you, you bring in someone from the outside and like, hey, I know that you like you do stuff and you like stuff, but you're going to do this. But we want you. But we don't want you to do what you do. But we want you. But don't do that shit that you did over the before. So who, who do you think is going to go for that? Like, how do you how do you do that? The, the Rams did that with Raheem Morris. I know McVay did that. How'd that work? It led to, led to a Super Bowl. It led to a Super Bowl with Raheem. Good point. <laughs> they beat the team we covered. <laughs> so That's um, true. It worked well. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I think, yeah, there's, I remember when. I forgot about that. I, I remember, yeah. I remember when, when Robert Sala first became a uh, Jets head coach. It was like, man, Sala was great, man. How the, and especially after that 2020 year, it's like he did better. Is it going to be D'Amico? Whoever, like D'Amico, like you know, let's pump the brakes there. Call plays. Let's see how it goes. And then it went lights out. He took an elite defense and transcended it. Yeah. So back then, I was more skeptical. I'm like, is D'Amico going to be anywhere near as great? If they can get just a notch or two below. That's a win. But he was like notches above. This time it's like, all right, he's better than Salah. There's no way in hell I see they're gonna find a defensive coordinator that's gonna like sniff the same type of like elite style of D'Amico Ryan's. But on the bright side is like they have a ton of talent on defense, so it'll be pretty tough to really mess that up. You know, it'd be it'd be pretty pretty tough. So you're just hoping that you get some semblance of that because this is a hire that's really I think my after the quarterback conversation, the quarterback uh you know figuring out process. This is the probably the most important decision they're going to make all offseason because the defense since 2019 has really carried the success of this team no matter what you know he's, everyone says 2019 that defense especially defensive lines why they went to super bowl 2020 that defense was really the reason why they were competitive last year you know if it wasn't for you know D, the defense playing as well and then eventually Debo turned up and then this year so whoever they get has to really be able to take on all that pressure you know we just talked about you know with kim on buckner this defensive coordinator is going to face even worse even more because you just had a defense who had the least amount of points in the league, 16.8 allowed per game. And whoever this guy is has to really not tinker too much. You know, Kyle has been doing this with every defensive coordinator with Salah and Ryan's, but that's because he hired within an outside source is going to be tough. So that's why when you have Vic Fangio at the top of the list, it's like, how's that going to work? He's a three, four base. And I understand, you know, base defense isn't, you know, prominent as much now, but there, there's still going to be, you know, some type of tinkering that he's going to want to do to really feel comfortable. I don't understand how you say, like, I want to get the best coach, but he has to run what I wanted to run. Like, you imagine interviewing Vic Fangio for the job, and Vic Fangio leaves, like lays out his vision for the defense, and Kyle's like, nah, I want you to do this. Can you do this? It's like, oh, <laughs> you're telling Vic Fangio how to run defense? What are you talking about right now? Oh, so the quarterback to run the zone scheme. Yeah, right? so, like, so who are you, who are you, like, ruling out by – creating these stipulations it doesn't seem that smart like if you get an opportunity to get Vic Fangio you just turn over the defense to him and say do whatever you want to do it's Vic Fangio but that's not what the nine that's not how the Niners are approaching it they want to keep this intact they have a system in place that they like so it's like to me if you can't get Fangio wouldn't you want to get someone like Brian Flores isn't Brian Flores a great defensive coordinator isn't he a really good one I would like him. I, I mean he's he's available Steve Wilkes is available like these are guys you could get if you just told him like I trust you. You can do your job. But I don't know. I mean, Kyle, Kyle's good with coaches. Maybe maybe he'll find an up-and-coming guy who can fit in the parameters and be the next D'Amico or Robert Sala. But it just seems like he could probably pick from whoever he wanted if he if he was a little more open-minded. I don't know. I think like he works better than Vic Fangio for some reason. Maybe because of the job he did as interim head coach. And to me, the fact that he had that defense already playing at a pretty nice level because he, he's, not, he's not unfamiliar with having, like, a decent array of talent. You know, he has JC Horn. He had a uh, Brian Burns. Um, he had, um, what is it? What is it? What is it? Who's the name? Who's the, de- they have the defensive lineman. Who's really good. Um, yeah. They had like several, like really impactful defensive players. So he did well with that front. And then when he becomes an interim head coach, you get to see his leadership abilities that really united that team to really be in the running for the NFC South division. I know it sucked, but still the fact that they were there was, it's pretty crazy. So to me, I see the most, there's some parallels some similarities that, You've, you've seen from your last two coordinators in Salah and Ryan's. And that's why I think I would really like him the most. And plus, you know, he's not going to run change like scheme and not do a bunch of tinkering like you would, like maybe like a Fangio who might even demand it because he is a guy who could, who probably would feel that way. So I think I would like looks in that sense. 